ஸ்கிரீன் இருக்கு பாருங்க फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग फर्स्ट लेफ्ट साइड வாங்க இடது சைடு அப்ப கப்பு மாதிரி இருக்கு பாருங்க இல்ல இல்ல சார் இது வந்து ரெக்கார்டிங் சார் இது வேண்டாம் சார் இது ரெக்கார்டிங் எழுதிட்டீங்க ரெக்கார்டிங் பண்ண சொன்னார் சார் அவர் அதனால தான் எழுதுறேன் இல்ல அது ரெக்கார்டிங் வந்து பண்ணிக்குவாங்க சார் IAP பண்ணிக்குவாங்க சார் சரி சார் சரி சார் இப்போ இப்போ ஆடி பிளே பண்ணுங்க சார் இருக்கும் <laughs> 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 24 ஆவது என்னுடைய செல்லல ம் சார் 5 मिनिट्स இருக்கு சரி சார் செந்தில் சார் வரலங்களா இன்னும் வந்திரற வந்திரற ஜாயின் பண்ணுங்க சார் சென்னை போய் வரணும் என்ன கார்ல இருக்காரா ஆமா வணக்கம் சார் வணக்கம் சார் ஜோரக் பெல்ட்டோட இருக்காரு ஆல்வேஸ் ஆன் தி மூவ் ஆ இல்ல சார் இன்னைக்கு தான் சார் ரொம்ப நாள் கழிச்சு வெரி குட் நைஸ் நிப்பாட்டிட்டு <laughs> 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 நீங்க ட்ரை பண்ணல நான் இல்ல சார் நான் இல்ல சார் சார் மேரந்தட்டியே பேசற மாதிரி ஆ வணக்கம் வணக்கம் சார் ராமத் வணக்கம் சார் சார் ராமச்சந்திர சார் வணக்கம் சார் சார் வணக்கம் சார் சார் நல்லா இருக்கீங்களா எல்ல ஆல் ஃபைன் சார் நல்லா இருக்கறோம் थैंक यू சார் வாங்க சார் வெல்கம் थैंक यू சார் வெல்கம் டு ஆல் थैंक यू சார் எங்க மாவட்டத்துக்காரர் வந்து இன்னைக்கு ஆரம்பிக்க போறாரு ஓபனிங் சார் ரெக்கார்ட் பண்றது அவங்க சரியா பண்ணலன்னு சொன்னாரு திருமுருகன் சார் நீ அதனால நீங்க முடியா ரெக்கார்ட் பண்ணுங்கன்னாரு நீங்க யாராவது ரெக்கார்ட் பண்றீங்களா சார் சுரேஷ் பாலன் நீங்க பார்த்துறீங்களா ரெக்கார்டிங் ரெக்கார்டிங் நம்ம யூஸ்வலா பண்றது இல்ல சார் அவர் வந்து டிஏபி தான் பண்றாங்க நீங்க பண்ணலாம்ல நீங்க பண்ண கூடிய ஆப்ஷன் இருந்தா பண்ணிருங்க அவ்வளவு இல்ல ரெக்கார்டிங் பண்ணா எல்லாம் கொலர போகுதுங்கிற சமயம் நீங்க விடுறீங்க அப்படியே டிஏபி பண்ணுவாங்க சார் அவங்க பண்ணிடுவாங்க வணக்கம் ராஜேந்திரன் வந்திருக்கீங்க வணக்கம் சார் சார் நீங்க அப்படியே மெதந்தட்டியே பேசுற மாதிரி இருக்கு அப்படியே ஸ்கைல இல்ல ஆடிட்டே பேசுற மாதிரி இருக்குல ஆடி ஒரு வித்தியாசமா இருக்கு ஆமா வித்தியாசமா இருக்கு நீங்க யூஜ் பேஸ் நல்லா இருந்துச்சு சார் சார் வண்டியும் ஆடியா ஆடிடா ஆடி கார் தான் பல இருக்கு இல்ல சார் அது ஆடிட்டே வரும் இனோவா கிறிஸ்டா ஓகே சார் நல்லா <laughs> 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 when I mean, the regular thing starts we'll just fill in the gap nothing like actual bedside learning in the ama sir ama sir ama sir adu mari varma sir adu mari varma idu vande no learning ku badala idu some learning avladha but ini idu future la idu or method of learning a vandru sir future la idu or method of learning a vandru அக்ஷிதா சார் எப்ப சார் இது இது ரிலீஸ் பண்றது இம்யூனிசேஷன் கார்டு 
ஆரம்பத்தில் பண்ணுவோம் கடைசியா சார் நீங்க ப்ரோக்ராம் சொல்லுங்க சுரேஷ் நம்ம வந்து ஃபர்ஸ்ட் வந்து நீங்க ஆரம்பிச்சு வைக்கிறீங்க சரி ஆரம்பிச்சு வைக்கிறீங்க அவரு ராஜேந்திர சார் வந்து நம்ம பிரேயர் சொல்றாரு சரி அதுக்கப்புறம் இன்ட்ரோடக்ஷன் வந்து அந்த ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸ் ஒரு ஃபர்ஸ்ட் ஸ்லைட் போடும்போது நான் வந்து இன்ட்ரடியூஸ் பண்ணிக்கிறேன் சரி அப்புறம் கரமா சாருக்கும் அதே மாதிரி ஒரு ஸ்லைடு கரமா சார் ஸ்லைடு வச்சிருக்கீங்களா இல்ல இதை பார்த்து பேசுவா குரூப்ல போட்டிருக்கீங்களா ஆடியோ ஆடியோ குரூப்ல போட்டிருக்கேன் சார் நான் இதுல அத பார்த்து அத பார்த்து சொல்லிக்கலாம் சார் ஓகே சரி இந்த இது கார்டு ரிலீஸ் வந்து ஷேர் பண்ணிட்டுமா பிஆர்சி சார் பண்ணிட சொல்லுமா ஆமா சார் சுரேஷ் சார் நீங்க பேசி முடிச்ச அப்புறமா சார் சார் பேசி முடிச்சதுமா தப்பே பண்ணல சார் நீங்க முடிச்ச நீங்க முடிச்சதுக்கு அப்புறம் கூட பண்ணலாம் நினைக்கிறேன் எப்ப சுரேஷ் அது முடிவு பண்ணீங்க சுரேஷ் ஏனா நீங்க லைன் கிடைக்கும்போது பண்ணிக்கலாம் ஏதாவது உங்களுக்கு சிக்னல் கிடைக்கலாம் பிரச்சனையா இருக்கு கிடைக்கும்போது பண்ணிருங்க ஹலோ சார் உங்களுக்கு நெட் கைட்டிச்சுன்னு வெச்சீங்க ஆமா அதனால அப்படியே பண்ணல இல்ல இப்ப இப்ப எப்படி இருக்கு நல்லா இருக்கு இல்ல இப்ப நல்லா கிளியரா இருக்கீங்க சார் இன்னும் கொஞ்சம் சென்னையில ஒண்ணு பிரச்சனை இருக்கா சார் சென்னையில ஒண்ணு பிரச்சனை இருக்கு மத்த இல்ல இல்ல சென்னையில சென்னையில ஒண்ணு பிரச்சனை இருக்கா சார் சார் எங்களோட கலரா தெரியுங்க சார் ஃபோக்கஸ் ஃபோக்கஸ் லைட் ஒன்னு இருக்கு சார் அவ்வளவுதான் வேற ஒண்ணு சார் பிஆர்சி சார் ரொம்ப தொந்தரவு பண்ணிட்டேன்னு ரொம்ப சாரி சார் இல்ல இல்ல உங்களுக்கு எவ்வளவு ராஜேந்திர சார் கோஆர்டினேட் பண்ணி நல்லா இருக்கு இவர் ஏபிள் டு டு ஆமா ஆமா ராஜேந்திர சார் தான் அந்த ஃபைனல் இதுல அந்த இதெல்லாம் போட்டதுனால இப்ப யார் ஒண்ணு சொல்ல முடியாது थैंक यू राजेंद्र सर थैंक यू सर टाइमली टाइमली ஏனா ஷார்ட் டைம் இத நம்ம ரிலீஸ் பண்றதுக்கு அப்புறம் பண்ண பிரயோஜனமே இல்ல அது சார் இந்த ஸ்லைட் வந்திருக்கா சார் ஸ்லைட் உங்களுக்கு ரிலீஸ் பண்ணும்போது போறதுக்கு சார் நான் திருப்பி அர்ஜுன மேடம் நான் திருப்பி ரீஜாயின் பண்றேன் சார் ஒரு நிமிஷம் யார் கிட்ட இருக்கு சார் ஸ்லைட் ம் ராஜேந்திரன் <laughs> Yes, so okay. it's a, it has a backup. You can share your screen the way you shared it right now. I sh- I, I'll be sharing, madam. I'll be sharing. Yeah, please share. Uh, now, now only or, uh, let them introduce and then do the things. For the introduction, please start uh-huh. with the webinar and then share the screen. Okay. Okay, shall we start? Yeah. Hello, everyone. Dr. Suresh Banan has uh, rejoined. அகர முதல எழுத்து எல்லாம் ஆதி பகவன் முதற்றே உலகு குட் ஈவினிங் டு ஆல் டுடே த வெபினார் இஸ் கோயிங் டு பி பை டு எமினன் ஸ்பீக்கர்ஸ் அண்ட் மாடரேட்டட் பை ப்ரொஃபசர் P. Ramachandran from Sri Ramachandra Medical College, Oror. And uh, this program of having two topics. One is the five-minute developmental assessment. And the second one is about complementary feeding. And so these topics are uh, related to each other. And so we are going to have... the regular webinar on saturdays with two different speakers and let us have the pediatrician's prayer by dr rajendra uh, good evening to everybody kulandai maruthavani nerinjidal engalukku mulumiyana gunamalikkum thirnai tharum noyerin tunbam theerkum thiran namakku valangapatta eppadi patta sirappurimai enbadai paniyudan naam 
உணர்வோமாக எல்லா குழந்தைகளுக்கும் அவர்தம் குடும்பத்தினருக்கும் அவர்களின் சமுதாய படிநிலை மற்றும் சாதி மத பிரிவுகளை பாராமல் நலம் கற்றல் ஈகை அன்பு அமைதி ஆகியவற்றின் தூதுவர்களாக என்றும் இருப்போமாக நம்மால் முடிந்தவற்றை மாற்றவும் நல்லவற்றை உள்வாங்கவும் மாற்ற முடியாதனவற்றை காரணத்துடன் ஏற்றுக்கொள்ளவும் போதுமான மெய்யறிவும் புரிதலும் எங்களுக்கு வழங்குக உங்களது வாழ்த்துக்களையும் அருளையும் கருணையும் எல்லா சூழல்களிலும் நேரங்களிலும் அனைத்து மக்களிடையே கொடுத்து அருளுங்கள் தேங்க்யூ Uh, Dr. Rajendran, can you uh, proceed with the, uh, I think, uh, with the introduction of the first speaker, and then we'll uh, give it to the moderator, uh, Professor Ramachandran. Yeah. Uh, uh, good evening to everybody. I know I uh, request uh, Dr. Sopragasam is a non-developmental uh, uh, pediatrician, and uh, he's a consultant pediatrician and uh, at Nadra Children's Hospital, and uh, he is having in nadra child developmental center at chidambaram and a national trainer on learning disability and uh, president of iap uh, tamil nadu 2012 he is uh, he was having a uh, mission uh, 2022 idd all children with ld to go the end of the year 2020 and to provide free remedies measures and he was a cip eb uh, member of uh, 2014 15 and 17 and he had a state project uh, coordinator ld uh, project uh, iap tamil nadu and nrhm trainer for doctors teachers for uh, ld in tamil nadu i welcome you sir uh, and over to the moderator of this webinar over to professor ramachandran sir Uh, good evening uh, all the dignitaries of uh, ap tamil nadu state chapter and uh, the speakers of the day professor shoprakasham and uh, dr karamat so welcome to this uh, series of webinars uh, to tnsc the first uh, talk will be by uh, dr shoprakasham so he will be talking to us about uh, a developmental assessment uh, in 5 minutes so as we are aware everybody want uh, fast food and fast things 2020 so uh, in a busy practice in the op practice we have to have a reliable uh, assessment of uh, development also so that you won't miss anything gross to so give us a tips about the rapid uh, assessment of the development in a rational and uh, scientific manner dr shivaprakasham will be talking to us now the passion of uh, dr shiv prakasham is a uh, developmental assessment plus also learning disability in children how to recognize and he has taken human efforts to popularize this among all sections of the, uh, the educational uh, platform the teachers with the help of government of tamil nadu and uh, his efforts are uh, actually uh, bearing lot of fruits and also the central iap is uh, also taken up with these projects vote to shiv prakasham for his talk on a rapid assessment in 5 minutes of the development dr suresh balan sir you want to tell us a few words sir uh mike mike unmute unmute no sir no sir we'll go to the topic sir straight it is already late no we'll go okay okay, okay. thank you sir thank you uh, good evening sir good evening to all respected president iap tamil nadu dr chendil secretary suresh balan treasurer rajendran our coordinator prc and our invitees from the central government and the state government and uh, eb members and uh, all vips so our tamil nadu eb members and uh, viewers it's a pleasant occasion for me to be with you to share few things in the development actually pediatricians may have little time to concentrate on development we have a vision 2020 to 2025 to identify all children with the neurodevelopmental problems early in our nation and to provide early intervention to do screening for all high risk babies 
and to provide early stimulation to prevent neurodevelopmental problems. We need development-oriented pediatricians to achieve this goal. And mostly the pediatricians will have little time. And during this period, it's very important because we are having a corona war and lack of proper antenatal care, poor nutrition, poor transport, they delay in the medical care, lack of neonatal and postnatal care. So we expect a sudden rise in the neurodevelopmental diseases. What we are going to do, we are using simple science, we can use it from tomorrow, no high tech, only practical things. A child from zero to six years have absorbent mind. Zero to three years, they are unconscious creators. Three to six years, they are conscious workers. Pediatricians usually advise on all the things, immunization, nutrition, but development, it is written for it. And we do simple screening here and confirm normal development and any deviation or delay in the development. And we need to start early stimulation for all high-risk babies. No need for confirmation. No harm is done, even if it is wrong. Prevent, it will prevent severe forms of development. If we detect early the simple screening with a simple screening tool, early intervention can do. How? We are going to use immunization and developmental cord for all children and use simple tools for high-risk children. And babies born of cesarean section, small for day, preterm babies, babies who not cried immediately, given oxygen supplementation, difficult resuscitation, neonatal admissions, neonatal conventions, neonatal hypoglycemia, meconium aspiration, mother with the antenatal problems like PET and diabetes, antipotent hemorrhage, anemia, vomiting, torch infection will have all the problems. And these children born to these mothers have problem in the neurodevelopment. So there is a million dollar question. If a problem is preventable, why can't we prevent it? If a problem is identifiable, why can't we identify it and start early stimulation? The cost of treating autism is nearly 30,000 rupees per month. It is published in Indian pediatrics by a pediatrician. So they need to have a lot of treatment like uh, occupational therapy, ABR, and uh, speech therapy, and, never, and the child is having had to treatment for five to six years. What is our aim? Franklin D. Roosevelt, the former president of USA, had make the country in the world. No one is left out. No child should be left out with, without proper care by the pediatrician and without simple and proper screening for neurodevelopmental problems. We want to train all the 30,000 IAP members on simple developmental screening so that we can identify all NDD early and to reduce the incidence of NDD to 50% by preventing it within 2025. Will it be possible? It's a, will it be possible? It's a huge imagination. Yes, if all the babies born of high-risk pregnancies were screened periodically for NDD and simultaneously start on early stimulation, we need not have the problem, but we can start early stimulation to prevent NDD. And this helps at least to reduce the severity. If the child is going to get severe autism, it will be a mild autism if we give early stimulation. Big yes, if all the NDDs were identified very early, by all the 30,000 pediatricians and referred to early intervention, we are going to save all those babies. When a child enters the hospital, in the reception, they record the weight, height, and head circumference. Usually, it is recorded in the reception. We can use growth charts in the reception itself. When a three-year-old child walks and enters the room, observe that child, whether it is walking properly. Observe the face, whether there is any syndromic faces, and observe his activity. Is there any hyperactivity? And we can just, uh, with the small, within two seconds or three seconds, whether there is any eye to eye contact, whether it is abnormal muscular movements, whether it is a depressed, depressed child or a happy child, and we can rule out many things, at least to some extent ADHD, ASR, intellectual disability, everything. And you can ask the child when it enters, what is your name? The child says midul. Then immediately we know that hearing of the child is normal. Both expressive and receptive verbal language is normal. What is normal nonverbal communication? When we say tata to the child, only by waving our hand without any uh, voice, the child will also same time wave the hand. It is nonverbal receptive and nonverbal expressive is there. I, I want to quote one example from the nonverbal communication. When your wife is in anger, in the kitchen, they will handle the vessels with loud sound. It is called Pathira Bhashai in Tamil. So you receive that Pathira Bhashai and you have what is nonverbal receptive. She is having nonverbal expressive. So we need to know four things verbal receptive, verbal, nonverbal receptive, and nonverbal expressive.
poor things. So now we will observe this video. The child is coming. So the child is going to answer, so we can know that the child is having both expressive and receptive language is there. What is expressive language? If what the child says is only delay, then give suggestions to help the child for speech therapy, formal speech therapy can be. What is receptive language? The child understands. If both the child understands and says is delayed, then we need to test the hearing. If the hearing test is normal, we need to investigate further for complications like and there are, we are going to test all the things, but which I'm going to tell is only three, three, three important points. Three important pre-learning skills we need to test. The child has to name the object, ability to identify the fruits, vegetables, body parts, etc. And the child is going to express the, what is the ball, big ball or a small ball, and shape and size and consistency. Letters A, B, C, D, and number one, two, three. Because these are pre-learning skills. When the child is having intellectual disability, or when the child is going to develop learning disability, this problem will be occurring in naming the object and uh, comparing the size and shape and naming the letters will be delayed. Because phonology is delayed, the child may not be able to correlate the shape of the letter and the sound of the letter. Now we'll see. So we, go, we are going to get three points, important points. This is important to diagnose autism, the pointing an object, joint attention, and imitative behavior. These three things should be affected in a child who is going to develop autism in the later years. So we'll see. We will ask, where is the ball? The child is going to show where is the ball. And we lost where is the chocolate? The child is going to show with the pointing fingers, there is the chocolate. And this is a pointing an object. Pointing an object is an important milestone. And uh, at 12 months, point indicates needs. The pointing a ball. Okay. So when do infant starts pointing? Between 7 to 15 months. There are two types of pointing. When the child wants to ask something, it is called imperative pointing. When the child uh, points the fingers to draw someone's attention, it is called as declarative pointing, proto-declarative pointing. So we'll have joint attention. What is joint attention? We can we announce where is the chocolate. The child points to the chocolate, but the child looks into the mother's face and the doctor's face. That indicates the child wants the chocolate and take the chocolate. They are getting permission to take the chocolate. It is called joint attention. You are seeing the screen. I am also seeing the screen. We have joint attention. By joint attention, the child is going to learn something. Joint attention is a spontaneous behavior in which a toddler tries to share interest, amusement, or apprehension on an object with a caretaker, with a caretaker or a playmate. The child does this by purposefully looking back and forth between the object of interest and eyes of the caretaker or the playmate. So it is called as proto-declarative pointing. So the originally, we olden days, we see the moon, and the baby will be shown the moon and given the food. So the moon will be seen by the mother and the baby. So we'll have joint attention trying there. So joint attention, there are two things, eye gazing and pointing. There is an intention to, intention is important, intention to share. 
the ability to share the gaze is an important milestone by which the child learns. Here, the two teenagers engage in joint attention by reading a book. A parent and a child in joint, engage in joint attention by pointing the diagrams. So what is impact joint attention? Individuals with ASD may lack or show reduced or spontaneous seeking to share enjoyment, interest, or achievement with the people. Impact joint attention or social referencing. And we'll say pretend at play. When we give a toy to the phone to the toy phone to the baby, the baby can keep it in the mouth and say hello. It is called pretended play. So we are having three items to set: A, B, C, D, one, two, three, and rhymes. So when the child is able to say rhymes and A, B, C, D, one, two, three, the child is less likely to develop learning disability later. And the intellectual disability child may not be able to tell the rhymes. And the ADHD child, because they lack concentration, they may not sit to say the rhymes. So we'll see. Okay, then we'll have three simple activities. Draw the shape, draw a man, and threading the beads. It is important because when the child draws the shape, the fine motor is okay. When you draw a man, it gives some index of IQ. And threading a beads is a fine motor thing. So we'll give a paper and the child is going to draw a circle at three years and a square or the cross at four years and a triangle at five years. And then he's a drawing a circle. This child is drawing the shapes. That needs coordination, hand-eye coordination. And the child needs what is a square and what is a triangle. So I uh, draw the shapes. So ask the child to draw a map. The child will draw a map. So drawing a circle at the three years, going to draw one part at three years, and every three months, the child is going to add one, one part more. At four years, four parts, five years, eight parts, and six years, 12 parts. And uh, it is called good enough Harris draw a person test. It has a good correlation when the child is having mental disability. And now the child is going to draw it. When the child draws a man, it actually imaginates the parts of the body and the imagination is actually imprinted in the paper in the form of the diagram. So it, it is an indirect evidence of IQ. When the IQ of the child is normal, it is going to add one part on each three months after three years. So when it is child is three years and six months, it will be three parts or four to two parts. And it is finishing the third year, it will be four parts. Like that, we can we can count this thing. Sir, already we are in the meeting, sir. Okay. So threading the beads. Usually it indicates the child is having fine motor coordination and actually the child will be having that uh, dyspraxia child may not be able to do this actually previously dyspraxia is included in the specific learning disability now the dyspraxia is included as a comorbid condition <coughs> Now, to construct a tower or a bridge or a steps of cubes, to do three-step action, three special activities to work on this equum board. And usually the child is going to be using the tower, the cubes. We are having 10 cubes. Usually it is given in the, it is actually given in the uh, developmental kit. So when a child is 15 months, it built a tower of two cubes. And 18 months, tower of four cubes. At two years, it is tower of six cubes. And at uh, three to five years, it will produce gate of three cubes. At bridge at three years. And three years, it produces tower of eight cubes. 
and four years it uh, built a steps of six cubes and five years steps of 10 cubes. It is an important index and we can assess the developmental age of the child and we can also. He is bridging the gate. He is bridging the steps of 10 cubes. The child needs concentration and there is a And the ADHD child may not be do this properly. And the intellectual disability child may be confused with what to do. And when there is fine motor co in coordination like dyspraxia, the child may not be able to do. And we can rule out all those things by testing this capacity. This is a tower of eight cubes. Child should be comfortable to do this. Okay, now three-step action. A two-year-old child can do two-step action. This can't be done by a child with autism. Three-step action. And we are going to test for the Sequim board test. It's a test of intelligence. Usually it is going to assess the eye-hand coordination, shape concept, visual perception, and cognitive ability. This is the thing. And it directly correlates with the IQ. And it's an indirect measure of IQ assessment. The child has to see the shapes and then fix it. The time limit is there, 20 to 30 seconds. And if we, if we try, the child will do it fast. For the first time, it may not be able to do it. We can test for three times also. And a child with incoordination, they may not be able to do. And a child with ADHD may not sit to do this. They are not able to sit. And child with low IQ may not be able to do this. So this is an important test for that. Okay, three points to be observed for ruling out autism. Eye to eye contact, echolalia, stereotyped and repetitive motor movements. All the points are concise to only three. So, eye to eye contact we will discuss a little later, but it is there. No response to him. When we call an autism child, Deepa, Deepa, the child won't, uh, child won't turn to you. <coughs> child won't turn to, your, turn to your face and won't look to your eyes. Echolalia. What is that echolalia? I will give you an example. That uh, patient has to come to Chennai for... Uh, observation by re-examination by me. I told, uh, when a child came, come here, I said, come here. After a few minutes, the child said, come here, come here, come here. When the child repeats my words, is there any meaning in that? No meaning. So meaningless utterance of words is the echolalia. The immediately told, it is called immediate echolalia. What I did, four days back, I phoned to the child, come to Chennai. After a few minutes, the child is uttering, come to Chennai, come to Chennai, come to Chennai. So it is delayed echolalia. So delayed echolalia, the delay can be anywhere between hours to years. Hours to years. That is echolalia. <coughs> it's because of short-term memory and also this thing. And third thing is restricted repetitive pattern of behavior, which is, which is a characteristic of OASD. That is, that behavior may be Repetitive motor movements, use of objects or speech, simple motor stereotypes, lining up of the toys, flapping the objects, echolalia, or idiosyncratic places. These are the repetitive pattern of behavior. And this is restricted interest in repetitive behavior. This child is playing with the molecules only, playing with the molecules continuously for hours, <coughs> for hours together. So, AC child may not be able to communicate with humans. They will interact only with objects that we know, that we should know. Child is not communicating with the humans. They interact with objects. They are interested to interact with objects and communicate with objects only. They like pattern. These children may see all advertisement easily because it is repeatedly coming. And they have echolalia, what I have described. The, for the AAC child, there will be two things, delay and deviation. <clears throat> we should know the difference between delay and deviation. So when we are waiting in the airport in Chennai and we, go, we want to go to Delhi, there is an announcement that Delhi flight is delayed for two hours. 
That is, it is delayed for two hours. Another announcement come, Delhi flight is delayed for four hours. We are little worried, but anyhow we reach Delhi. Then third announcement come, the flight to Delhi is, the uh, route is not clear. So the flight is going to Calcutta in the opposite, in the where, so some other direction. That is this deviant development. Delay and deviant development is the characteristic of autism. Ekulalia <laughs> is a deviant development. So AST affects nearly one in 59 children and 10% of them have what is called as chromosomal disorders and genetic disorders. So these are the symptoms of ASD, which is out of our thing. But this slide is an important slide. <coughs> we have told about the expressive verbal, receptive verbal, expressive nonverbal, and receptive nonverbal. When the expressive verbal is, for, is at fault, the yeah, isolated verbal delay, it is called as speech delay in the speech or language disorder. And we can give speech therapy. When both expressive verbal and receptive verbal is not okay, we need to test the hearing hearing impairment. And the hearing impairment is normal, no hearing impairment, then we need to investigate for communication disorders and autism spectrum disorder. And when there is a problem in the social behavior also, and everything, then there is no repetitive, so all the things are affected, but the other domains are, other domains are normal in these three. It is called social communication disorder. Here, there is no repetitive restrictive behavior. So all the other things are positive. All the other things are affected. It is called social communication disorder. When there is restrictive repetitive behavior also is there, it is called autism spectrum disorder. So without restrictive re re repetitive behavior, we can call it as a social communication disorder. So lastly, we have global developmental delay where uh, mostly more than two domains are affected but there is no repetitive restrictive behavior. <coughs> this slide will give the differential diagnosis of all the social communication disorders. Now we can see the autistic child. It has its own world. It is not looking into the eyes of the caretaker. It is not answering where is the ball. We asked where is the ball. We asked what is your name. The child is not responding to anything. It is actually running, it is playing. It has its own world. It is not interacting with the humans, not father, grandfather, or the mother. So this is called Toronto Nebula, a large magnetic cloud. It is called a smiling face and multiple legs. It is a busy star-making factory and greets us from 16, 1,60,000 light years of space. And this is Milky Way galaxy. There are so many stars here. The number of stars is equal to the number of stars in our infant's brain. Number of stars in the Milky Way is equal to the number of neurons in the brain. Each neuron can develop 2,500 synapses with each neuron. When we give the task and when we interact with the child, it increases the number of neurons and connections. The used neurons and connections are retained. Unused neurons and connections are withered off. And you can see the structure here. We can see the structure. So this is the, actually the neuronal proliferation occurs up to 20 weeks. Neuronal migration 25 weeks. And synapses, everything later occurs. So at two years, there are so many connections with the brain. At two years, the mostly the number of neurons will come to the adult level. After that, the number of neurons multiplication is very minimal. So when we intervene in the below to before two years, we, when we do early stimulation, we can correct so many things. And in we'll come to the history. In the history, three important points we need to know. Whether there is any consanguinity, whether there is any family history of NDD, epilepsy, mentor or CNS illness, and we need to ask the prenatal, natal, postnatal risk factors. And we need to ask for the developmental milestones and the speech delay. And the general examination, we usually, I told already, weight, height, and head circumference will be recorded in the growth charts. It's the normal weight and height of the newborn. So the measurement of head circumference is very important in neurodevelopmental because microcephaly and macrocephaly we need to identify. You need to measure three times. Usually on the seventh day when we measure, it will be ideal. Seventh day when we measure, it will be ideal. So we need to record on the WHO head circumference chart for boys and girls. 
it's a head circumference is 33 to 35 centimeters at birth but three months it is two centimeters per month four to six months one centimeter per month seven to twelve months 0.5 centimeter two to to a second year it is one centimeter more than two years 0.5 centimeter by 12 years it comes to 52 centimeter so 52 centimeters at a time so three important points in general examination. We need to look for syndromic basis because 10% of ASD have the chromosomal or genetic problem or hormonal problem. And neurocutaneous manifestations, anemia and nutritional deficiencies. Anemia can cause a developmental delay. And uh, you know, B12 deficiency can cause subacute combined degeneration like that. This is the Down syndrome. This is the Down syndrome with all the figures. This is Fragile X syndrome, ASD and ID, ADHD. That is uh, intellectual disability may be there. And this is Turner syndrome. ADHD and LD will be there. And this is phenyl ketonuria. Developmental delay may be there. There is tuberous sclerosis. ASD and ID will be there in intellect. And Chagrin's patch. This is neurocutaneous markers, capillary spots, Chagrin patch, ash of leaf sorts. This is Sturge Weber syndrome. Development delay and cognitive delay. You can see the port wine stain. Port wine stain may be there. These things we need to examine. Atelectasia telangiectasia and the difficulty with movements and coordination. So we need to do the systemic examination, which is routinely done by the pediatricians. Mainly we need to know whether there is any hypertonia in the limbs and also any hepatosplenomegaly to rule out any metabolic conditions. This is an important uh, developmental card, which is taught to all the a &Ms, health workers, ASHA workers, everybody. Even a small uh, worker can know this. Social smile at two months, head control at four months, sitting at eight months, standing at 12 months. This is a major motor milestone, which will be recorded easily and which will be remembered easily and can be taught to the parents also. So three important examinations we need to do in a child when a newborn is coming from six months to 12 months. <coughs> we need to observe the baby for nonverbal communication. We need not wait up to one and a half years where we can use M chart. We need to identify lack of communication, that is problem in communication very early, so that we can give early intervention and also early stimulation for these children. And we need to observe the neonatal reflexes and we need to measure the angles. These three things are important examination below one year of age. <coughs> okay, so we need to observe the baby. We need to take the baby in the hand look to the eyes of the baby, smile to the baby, talk something to the baby, the baby will look into your eyes and respond to smile by start staring at you and smiling back. Make squeeing sound and do body movements. There is nonverbal communication. You raise your eyebrows, the baby will also do it. That is nonverbal communication. <coughs> Here you can see the baby is actually smiling with the mother and he is staring at the mother. So this is an important examination. We need to take the baby in our hand to observe how the baby behaves in the neonatal period up to six months of age. So nonverbal communication is okay. Both receptive and expressive nonverbal communication is okay when the baby smiles back at you. And we go to the neonatal reflexes. The persistence of neonatal reflexes indicates several paths. So we need to find out the moral reflex, plantar, palmar, grisp, and tonic reflex. The Palmer grass, 28 weeks appears, two to three months it disappears. Rooting to 32 weeks it appears, less prominent after one month. Moro, 28 to 35 weeks it appears, five to six months it disappears. ATNR, 35 weeks it appears, and two to three months it disappears. Lando, three months it appears, one year it disappears. Parachute, it appears at six to nine months it passes for childhood. So this is the grass reflex, this is the rooting reflex, Moro reflex, and ATNR, and uh, Next, we'll go to the, this actually, the reflexes and this delay, we can identify early sign of cerebral palsy. And we can measure the amiltesan angle, adductor angle, field to ear, popliteal angle, dorsiflexion, scoff sac. And uh, this is the instrument which we use for measuring these angles. It's a goniometer. It can measure the angles you see, I'll show. This is adductor angle. The baby leg extended and abducted to the maximum. <clears throat> and uh, we can measure the joint or angle. This is a goniometer. It is actually easily available nearly 400 to 500 rupees only. And it is very useful to measure these angles. This is the goniometer. 
and we can measure the electric angle like this. So, in case in our 30 years ago, uh, we have demonstrated that uh, it is a single index to suspect CP. But preterm babies have increased tone, and the tone persists for longer time, increased tone persists for longer time. Hence, we should not jump to CP. This is popular angle, this is popular angle measurement, and this heel to ear, and this is dorsiflexion angle, and this is scar sign. In the scar sign, uh, every, every three months it crosses. First three months it reaches, it doesn't reach the midline. And second three months it crosses the midline. Fourth, the third three months it reaches the axilla. Fourth three months it beyond the axilla. It goes beyond the axilla. These are the angles. Mainly we know adductor angle that is sufficient. One, two, three months we need not measure all the angles. If possible, we can measure, but adductor angle is a must. 4 to 80 and three months and 70 to 120 at four to six months like that. We can have this chart. This is the angle which, have, which we can keep in the developmental room. And we need to do some sensory assessment, vision assessment at three months. And the baby follows the dangling ball to 180 degrees. And we look for the congenital cataract, is there any? And the frontal examination may give a clue. Hearing is very, very important. Put a bell we can use. At three months, baby turns to a sound. And newborn hearing screening, that is auto-acoustic emission, is a simple instrument wherein we can measure the hearing capacity immediately after birth, usually on the sixth day or seventh day. And before discharge, we need to do this OAE. And it is very useful to assess the hearing loss. When we assess the hearing loss before six months, there is very good results after cochlear transplant. Now, cochlear transplant is done in the RBSK scheme free of cost. And even KKR hospital is doing that uh, cochlear transplant in the government project. And this is the way it is a very handy like a cell phone. And we can take to the OG hospitals and we can do. Here we are having this instrument and we are doing for all the babies born in cesarean section and the newborn babies coming for vaccination. And you can see the hearing loss is so that when there is both ears are having hearing loss, at 24 months, the number of words is less than 50 where the normally it is 350 to 300 to 350. So unless we correct it before six months, it is very, uh, very unlikely that the baby is going to be, be benefit by this. And uh, next, which is an important uh, assignment which was given to me, that is immunization and developmental cord, which is easy for us to tick when you are giving the immunization. And uh, we will see. So we are having developmental domains, gross motor, fine motor, personal and social, language, vision, and hearing. And newborn, vaccines we give BCG and OPB, and the pull to sit, newborn, complete head lag, back rounded. Ventral suspension, newborn head sags down. Like you can see in the figure, it sags down. In six weeks, momentarily holds in the horizontal plane. Head control begins, and it's social smile. You can see the social smile easily. And 10 weeks, respond to smile, respond to bell, follow dangling toy at 180 degrees, screws and goggles. It is a second dose of Pentavax we are going to give, and Pentavax along with pneumococcal vaccine, IPV, and, uh, or IPV or, uh, or a bioral OPV we are going to give. And 14 weeks, third dose we repeat, at that it pulls to sit, head steady, in the prone position, head, face, and chest of the pouch. Ventral suspension, head above the plane of the trunk and turns over by three to five months, fine motor, bisexual approach, can hold the object by two hands. At six months, is very important. In the prone position, lift the chin and chest while supporting weight on the extended arms, transfer objects, sits with support, fine motor holds cube crudely, and the unit extras it bubbles, bubbles. And eight months, try to pick up small object. At nine months, picking the object. At nine months, we are going to give M MMR1 or MR. And the glass motor sits well, stand holds on a support, fine motor, immature prensor grip. And so waves, bye-bye, tata, peak, kaboo, bow. And claps. And says bye syllables, mama, da, da like that. So it actually, <clears throat> this is the peak, kaboo, torch mark. So it will hide and see. And this uh, able to pay small object it is able to. It is completely mature at one year. At one year, it stands, at one year we are giving the hepatitis, A1, Japanese encephalitis or something like that. And it stands with support, walks alone but falls, mature pencil grip, and plays simple ball game, two words with meaning, points to indicate needs. And when you give a tie, it will keep it in the ear and say hello. 
then it has imitative behavior. It's called pretended play. And 15 months will give MMR2, varicella like that, walks alone, imitative play, travels upstairs, showing and bringing toys of interest, tower of two cubes. And 18 months, we give the booster dose, first booster, and runs and explores tables and drawers, domestic mimicry, it can speak eight to 10 words, throws a ball without falling, recognizes parts of the body, tower of four cubes. This, every doctor can stick on this cow itself. At two years, walks up and down stairs, two step by step. And towers of six cubes, pulls people to show toys, two word sentences. It produces two word sentences and two step action it can do. And explore drawers. At three years, it can ride a tricycle, alternate foot going upstairs, three word sentences, tower of eight cubes, making a bridge and copies a circle, knows the name and gender. You are male or a girl, can, a child can tell I am a girl. And four years, popes on one foot, alternate foot going downstairs, copies a cross or a square, st steps of six cubes, group play, says a poem, that is rhymes. When it says the rhymes, it indicates the memory power is okay. And uh, we can rule out the future LD. And able to tell simple story. And five years, play a skipping rope, copies a triangle, steps of 10 cubes, dress and undresses, language or meaning of a word, identifies four colors. And uh, the 13, uh, nine to 14 years, we give this tablet, this immunization for completion sake, I have added. This is a good immunization card, which is going to be released by our moderator PRC. And uh, with the developmental, we need to also history already we are told, and examination already we are told, general examination, a screen for vision and hearing, neurological examination. This is the equipment necessary for this. And uh, an important thing is the goniometer, which can measure the angles, and these cubes, red cubes. Is the two things are the main things, cubes, we can build this. Uh, okay. And uh, child should be free and not hungry or tired, playful mood. And what is developmental question? We can assess the developmental age. Developmental age divided by the chronological age into 100 will give the developmental question. Is a cerebral palsy child. And you can show the important signs, the abnormal tone will be having high risk, 12 to 14 fold, 15 fold. Diminished cry for one day, 21 fold. Weaker absorbance, like 14 fold. Need for cabbage or tube feeding, 16 to 22 fold raise in the CP. Diminished activity for more than one day, 19 fold raise in the risk of TACP. So it's a neurological examination. The new body is the essential. Those who are going for the cesarean section for resuscitation can note this one. And when the child is having ABO incompatibility and bilirubin level is raised, it can develop connectors and uh, it can develop cerebral palsy. And we need to have newborn screening for thyroid, hearing, vision, and inborn errors of metabolism, new uh, neurodevelopment of follow. And uh, so we should not miss three things, hypothyroidism, craniosphenosis, and anemia, which is preventable. We can prevent this. So hypothyroidism, when we start treatment on the second day, I have diagnosed a child on hypothyroidism and given th thyroxine on the second day, from, from second day, the child reached and uh, done MSc and now employed. She got a male child. The grandmother was so happy. Hypothyroid child, reading well, and getting a child. So craniostenosis, we can do surgery and remove that uh, obstruction, that anemia. Any anemia when we correct the developmental delay can be corrected. So this is hypothyroidism, the big tongue and the core spaces. And this is craniostenosis, we can, we can early fusion of the sagittal suture, we can do. And this is the developmental observation card, which, I, which we have already uh, described. And this is the first tool which can be used by anyone. But for the doctors, three tools. That is random developmental screening chart, zero to three years, the screening chart three to six years, language evaluation scale trend from for three to three years. And this is a TDST. When the child is 12 months, you draw a line at 12 months. You draw a line. In this side, all the milestones the child would have attained. This they are going to achieve. Even there is one point, it is going to be a problem. So delay in one single milestone, we need to, uh, we need to investigate further. This is for three to six years. This can be used for uh, used whenever it is needed. And this is language evaluation scale to random, zero to three years. Here also, at 12 years, 12 months, we can put a line. All the milestones here, language milestones to be completed by the child. The child should be able to perform all these things. When it fails even single item, we need to investigate further. 
is then uh, ready recognized we can use it uh, routine practice and denver 2 is little difficult it is a denver 2 this also can be used and uh, three ndd asd adhd and ld and global developmental delay cerebral palsy and intellectual disability we need to so asd early warning signs no social smile by six months no word one word communication by 16 months and no two word phrases by 24 months and this is a m chart this is a already modified m chart m chart r it contains nearly 20 questions and except 2 5 and 12 when there's no indicates high risk 2 5 and 12 yes indicates high risk when the point is 0 to 2 it is normal. It is nothing to worry. Two, three to seven, we need to apply M chart uh, follow. When the M chart follow up is over, zero to one, then we can just keep it on a follow. -up. And the eight to twenty, directly we need to we skip this this thing follow up chart directly go for intervention. ADHD, you know, not listening to the teacher but looking uh, uh, yeah, somewhere else. Hyperactivity moving all about the time with the key driven door. All of you know about the signs of inattention, signs of hyperactivity. Inclined trust, uh, that is, they formed a tool, inclined tool for diagnosing ADHD. This is an easy tool. For LD, signs will be speech delay, missing of the crawling stage, failure to show name the object, poor in rhymes, not able to tell the rhymes, not able to identify the shapes, not able to tell the story, all those things which can be, this is the IAP designated uh, investigation presented in the 2017 Indian Journal of Pediatrics, and it is followed up. Well, but for the parents, we will give a questionnaire to fill up the antenatal history and the complaints, everything, it is easy. Let them sit and fill it up within 20 minutes so that we need not waste time. So this is the new tool which has been validated and is going to be published in Indian Pediatrics, or, and it is actually having that is uh, more, mostly 35 questions. And when there is positive, when there is more than 13 questions are at fault, it indicates SLD. And the questions are divided like that. 1 to 12 is dyslexia, 13 to 13 is speech and language, 15 to 25 is dysgraphia, 30, 26 to 35 is dyscalculia. It is an easy thing. We give this worksheet to the children. They want to read this one. During reading, we assess the problem in reading. And we lost the questions here. But if to combine reading comprehension, they will do the match. All the things will be done in within 10 to 15 minutes. And this is the chart which will give when the child enters. So a yeah, mentally retarded child may not be able to fill up this form. They can't write the ABCD or one, two, three. They can't name the pictures. They can't draw the pictures. And so we can identify easily. What is intellectual disability? There is sub-average intellectual function below 70 and impairment in adoptive behavior, at least two either social, interpersonal skills, home living, functional academic skills like that. And what is cerebral palsy? It is a group of permanent disorders of movement and posture causing activity limitations that are attributed to non-productive disturbance in developing fetal and infant brain. So early pointers of CP, already we are told the reflexes will be absent and there's anger. And signs of symptoms, signs, persistence of primitive reflexes, weak limbs, all those things will be given in the books. This is the scissoring, scissoring. We had a little good experience when a mother is admitted in the hospital, Ojo hospital, that mother is having this uh, scissoring and the child was operated and a scissoring section was done and the baby was taken. The logician's father was my friend. He actually congratulated her husband for producing this baby. And there are three methods. There are methods we have to identify the gross motor functional classification, GMFSC classification for management. Level one, ambulatory in all settings. Level five, dependent on mobility in between the, all the levels. So that we can show the improvement after therapy. Global developmental delay, more than two domains are affected. It is global developmental delay. It is reserved for children less, more, less than five years. So Bailey scale is there. And uh, I'll, I already showing again this uh, important differential diagnosis slide, which is going to be important. We can differentiate autism spectrum and social communication disorder by the presence of repetitive restrictive behavior. Other things are okay. In global developmental delay, more than two domains are okay, uh, is affected. In autism, some uh, uh, domains may be affected or may not be affected. So there is a scale called nursery evaluation scale, which is very useful for the child to be assessed before entering into the school. We are having a TV school for children. We are treating a free treatment for all children. We are going to get a van uh, worth of 65 lakhs for peripheral treatment. Ramesh, Dr. Ramesh and Dr. Chidabarnathan, my son, is helping for the consultant as a consultant for the care of these children.
To recapitulate, we are having a vision to reduce the incidence of NDD to 50%. We are testing the verbal and non-verbal communication by asking the name, naming the fruits, name the object, drawing attention, imitative behavior. Child will be able to tell one, two, three or rhymes. And activity, three activity, draw the shapes, draw a man and threading the bead. And uh, three special activity, constructing a steps and gate of uh, gate of three tubes or tower or this thing. And uh, we are eye to eye contact, equilalia and repetitive rhythmic movements to be observed for the uh, autism child. We need to ask the history of consanguinity and family history. Measurements we do all the three and then we need to observe the syndromic phases, neurocutaneous manifestations and anemia. And examination we in the newborn, we concentrate on non-verbal communication, that is smiling of the baby, and neonatal reflexes measurement of angles. We do the sensory assessment by vision, hearing. OE is important to identify the hearing loss early and to advise for treatment. We are using the tools TDSC 0 to 3, 3 to 6 years at least. And we have told about the early signs of all the six neurodevelopmental problems and the tools used for that. We are having the vision. Training of all the 30,000 pediatricians on developmental assessment, early stimulation to all the high-risk babies, and screening, early identification of all NDD to reduce the incidence of NDD to 50%. It is a big dream, but it is possible. Nobody believed flying was ever possible until our Robert Belders discovered this flight and were able to fly for the first time. And we are crossing the road. We pray God, Nina, show me the total path. Show me where I have to place my next step. We are placing few steps on the road to us to have these all the pediatricians trying for development oriented pediatricians. And we are fighting against all odds. We serve for the cause. We work in the dark. We do what we can, we do what we have. Once we identify a child and prevent and prevent autism, identify an autism child, nearly 30,000 rupees they are spending per, per month. It will be reduced to half, nearly 10,000 is sufficient. We are uh, saving 1.5 lakhs. If one pediatrician is going to identify one child with early autism, he is going to save 1.5 lakhs per month. If 30,000 pediatricians, we can save nearly 450 crores. It is a national saving for us. So we need to think of it. And we knew, I request all the pediatricians to take up these small, simple things to do. Even in the village, we can do that. And uh, all the papers which are presented and all the slides are uploaded in the website, www.dyslexiacenter.in. And we can mail me this mail ID or you can WhatsApp me to the number and I can give any clarification, any help which is needed. And we are declaring our Kadalu district as uh, district which are going to follow all the developmental follow for these children. And uh, we, are, we are requesting the government also to cooperate and government Government told we'll help you. And thank you for the patient listening. I thank the president, secretary, and PRC for helping me to do this uh, work properly and to perform this uh, 